Hello, folks. Thank you for tuning in for another Elden Ring boss guide. This time, we're going in on the Godskin Duo. Now, on your way to down to the Godskin Duo are a whole bunch of banished knights, but if you fight it for the first time, you can actually do the same move I'm going to do to jump into the boss room really quick to avoid them. Uh, outside of that, you do have to path down towards the lowest level to enter the room afterwards if you do die to them, so keep that in mind. In this video, I'm going to discuss how I defeat the Godskin duo, as they can be tough to manage. I know this uh, this boss fight specifically is either very hard or very easy, depending on who you talk to. But I know the majority of players that have done this fight have found it pretty difficult. So we're going to discuss how I get through this, the best moments to strike, and what to do in those moments of, uh, you know, the Godskin Noble going phase two and stuff like that. With that said, let's get started. I'm just going to run right down this little path here. Avoid the banished knights. Avoid this other banished knight. Just run straight forward and through this. Now, again, if you do if you do die to this, the next time you'll have to go all the way down to the base level and run that door right there. Okay. So in this fight, you can use sleeping arrows and sleeping pots. I don't have any of them equipped myself as I want to show how to do it without it. But you can put one of these guys to sleep and then, uh, you know, focus on whichever one is not sleeping and they will stay down for a good long while. So again, sleeping arrows and sleeping pots are a choice as well as St. Trina's sword if you do have that. Now, the basic tactics still apply with these uh, with these guys. The, the, you know, you can fight them by parrying. You can fight them by dodging. Uh, you know specifically when they throw the black flame is their single weakest moment so i'd recommend if you are looking to uh, do things by dodging or just basic combat you wait until they throw a black flame and then you run at them to get underneath it and you hit them really fast i like to focus on the godskin noble first as i do find him weaker of the two so i figure if we kind of get him out of the way it'll make things easier to really focus on the godskin noble from there i'm sorry the uh the godskin apostle from there all right, so now that he's gone phase two, it means he's going to roll at us. So what I like to do is run to one of these pillars, stay on the opposite side of it, and just watch him do his thing. Sometimes the Godskin Apostle will attack you. As you can see here, he's going to throw some stuff at me. But I just kind of wait out the roll by watching him roll into this pillar. And once that's done, we're free to go, go back into fighting him as we normally would. Okay, we avoid that damage there. Okay, got a little greedy there. A lot of people will tell you that they'll only fight you one at a time, but that's simply not true. As you can see, they're both attacking me at the same moments. They just have their own different movesets that they'll pull off all the while. The same stat, or the, you know, the same rules apply to fighting them. Just make sure you try to single one of them out so that way you can focus the other completely solo. That's the ticket here. There's helicopter mode. Let's take a moment to heal up. Now, after a couple of moments, you'll see as well that the uh, whichever one you kill second, or the one, the one that you're attacking second, rather, will eventually stop to summon the other one, as you can see right here. In that moment, you can basically just run up to it and hit him for a whole bunch of damage. Now, not every weapon or, you know, damage type in the game is going to be able to destroy them as quickly as that. I am using Frostbite and Bleed at the same time, which definitely helps with that because I'm, you know, basically doubling up the status effects here. But once you get through that one, if you do kill it quick enough, you'll be able to focus on the Godskin Noble, uh, basically solo, which makes the fight a lot easier. And if, as long as you keep him busy as well, he'll avoid summoning for a while too. So you want to just try to really do as much damage as you possibly can. Keep in mind though that after a few moments, he will summon the, his friend again. So you need to make sure that you're aware of that. As you can see, he's doing that right now. So I'm just doing everything that I can to destroy him. And there he goes. Now, again, if you do have to end up fighting two at a time, I do recommend using sleep if you want to. So that way you can kind of get one of them out of the way. But outside of that, the same rules apply all the while. Just run at them when they throw the fire, hit them, back off, repeat that cycle until they're both dead. That is the simplest way to take them out overall. It's really not that bad of a fight as long as you focus on one at a time. If you do get caught up in the moment where they're both attacking you at the same time, there's no shame in just running away. And of course, the same rule applies as with most bosses in the game. If you are using projectiles, whether it be magic based or arrows, they will 
get much more aggressive, so keep that in mind. If you are launching projectiles, they'll do everything they can to close that gap and throw more fireballs at you, so keep that in mind as well, as with most of the game of Elden Ring. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this does help you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you soon for more.